We're gathered to initiate the year of commemoration of one of the most ev momentous events of history, the commencement of the transatlantic trade, slave trade, which brought tens of millions of Africans to the Americas, North, Central, and South. We know of the horrors that accompanied that forced journey. We know of the brutalities that were meted out to them during their stay in the Americas. We know of the great difficulties they have encountered in attempting to assimilate and live and maintain their dignity in the Americas. We know of the extraordinary achievements and contributions they have made to the life of the Americas. And it is important that in this symbolic year, 400 years later, we commemorate their existence and their sacrifices. the nation of Ghana has tried to rebuild those ties through the Joseph Project. It's an initiative aimed at drawing people from all over the African diaspora to explore their history in Ghana. Joining us to talk more about the Joseph Project is Jake Obechebi Lamti. He is the Minister of Tourism and Diasporan Relations. He was traveling in the U.S. and he was kind enough to join us here in our studios. Welcome, Minister. Thank you very much for having me. Tell me more about the Joseph Project. Where does the name come from and where did the idea come from? Well, the idea is not new uh, to Ghana or indeed to the Gold Coast uh, because long before we became Ghana, while, while we started our struggle for uh, full independence from British colonialism, our then political leaders reached out to the African diaspora. We have letters from uh, people like Casley Hayford, who was a major political leader in the 1910s and 1920s, to Du Bois, to Marcus Garvey. W.E.B. Du Bois, the great intellectual. Bois, yes. you, know, um, you know, talking about how the two struggles, the struggle for independence in, on the African continent and the struggle for rights and civil rights over here, you know, were intertwined and were, were mirroring each other. At the time that we went into, got our independence, the first leader of independent Ghana, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, you know, who, as you know, was educated in the U.S. at, Pencil, at uh, Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, reached out. He invited Du Bois, who was not given a passport by the then American government, but he also invited Dr. King, who did come with a delegation so that they were part of the whole independence changeover. <laughs> That was 10 things you should know about the year of return in Ghana. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.